Coach, when you're comfortable, if you could just start us off with some general comments about your team. First of all, glad to be here. Glad to be a part of this. My first time going through this, so uh, um, I've enjoyed the experience thus far. As far as our team goes, um, excited about the group that we put together. You know, I feel like we got a good blend of guys that are coming back that were in the Big 12 last year. That was a major point of emphasis when I took this job was to get some of those key pieces to come back. And, and in short order, we're able to do that. Uh, feel good about the blend of uh, young guys that we added um, from the as, as incoming freshmen, you know, as well as some of our, uh, you know, we were able to get some transfers out of the portal as well. And so feel good about the blend of talent that we have um, and feel like it's starting to come together. But most importantly, just excited to get uh, to get underway. So I, I appreciate you guys and we'll open it up. Okay, sounds good there. I think we're going to start on the back row on the left. Coach? Hey, Coach. Jack Kenna, University Daily Kansan. When looking at your roster, one player in particular who caught my eye was Yegor Demon, obviously coming over from Real Madrid. Can you tell all of us who haven't had the chance to watch him in person and even on television what we're going to expect from him this year? Yeah, he's a great kid, number one. Um, it fits really well into what we're doing at BYU, but on the court, super unique. I, I think for people that have never seen him play, will be, uh, you know, super intrigued with with his style. I mean, he's you don't see a lot of six eight, six nine guys that handle and pass the way he does. Uh, very unique from that standpoint. Um, he shot it well here early on in, in practice, but just you know, his overall feel for the game is really impressive. Um, guys like playing with him because uh, he he passes the ball and. You know, we'll kind of use him all over the court, and uh, I think he'll be uh, somebody that people really grow grow to uh, enjoy watching play. Yeah, I think we've got a question over here on the right. Kevin Meyer, Metcalf, uh, ESPN. Uh, you, you're coming in from the NBA, and I'm just wondering how that experience at that level has shaped how you view the name, image, and likeness conversation at this level. You know, when I decided to take this move, leaving the NBA to, to do this, uh, there was a lot of things I was nervous about just in terms of the unknown. Um, what I've found is there's a lot of similarities that I, I wasn't necessarily accounting for. Uh, the NIL space is, you know, it's just a different word for kind of how things operate in the NBA. You know, I, I find a lot of similarities there. And so, Quite frankly, it's been a real comfortable space for me to be in. And so I think we've got good people at BYU that have kind of helped uh, sort of manage that, navigate that. But uh, it's been it's been more like the NBA than I thought it would be. Coach, we're going to go to the middle section in the back row. Coach Chris Gardner, Houston Round Ball Review. What are your thoughts and impressions of the Big 12? How would you describe it? Extremely competitive. Uh, it feels like the entire league's in the top 25. Um, but I, I, I just heard one. Uh, I think Coach Boyle mentioned it. I mean, it's it's you can sell the Big 12 when you're out recruiting. I think it makes it. Uh, you know, even for me, uh, you know, I've had my eye, you know, in the back of my mind, BYU in the back of my mind. At some point, thought maybe there's something that could happen. But once they made the move to the Big 12, for me personally, it became a lot more attractive because of how good the league is and you're, you're playing against the best players and the best coaches every night. And so I think what I'm expecting is just a, an absolute gauntlet of a schedule and, you know, look forward to competing against the best coaches and players. Okay, we're still in the middle section, about four rows back. Kevin, uh, Jay Drew from the Deseret News. Kevin, you've talked a lot about just the differences on the court in the NBA game with the college game, even down to when the media timeouts are. Have you leaned on anybody outside of your, like Chris Burgess, who came from a college program, or have you leaned on anybody outside the program to kind of go through those nuances with you? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I got three guys, really four guys on my staff who are super well versed in the college game. Actually, probably even more than that. But so I've definitely leaned on people, you know, internally. Um, you know, I, I think I've mentioned, you know, Billy Lang before. We were on staff together with the 76ers. He's the head coach at St. Joseph's University in Philly. So he, he's a guy that I've, I've talked to a lot about, you know, different nuances of the college game versus the NBA game. Um, and, and he's been extremely helpful in that sense. But I've honestly, I've relied mainly on my in-house guys who've been doing this for a long time.
More questions for Coach Young? Another one here in the middle. Yeah, Kevin, uh, speaking of that, what is maybe the biggest eye opener or kind of shocker, if you will, of going from the NBA to the college game? Is there anything that's really taking you by surprise? Um, I don't know if anything's taking me by surprise, but I think the thing that's become, you know, evident, you know, I think coming into it, obviously the, the, the recruiting is, is something that you don't obviously have to do in the NBA world. Um, so that's navigating that, you know, I've hired a great staff that's helped me navigate that. But I think the biggest thing is just the amount of practice time. You know, I've been talking to some of the other coaches even here today, you know, we've been going since way back in the summer, I just feel in the NBA, everyone talks about NBA training camp. It's like four practices and then you're off to your preseason schedule, which is basically like the regular season. And so just navigating the amount of practice time we have, um, you know, trying not to grind the guys too much. Um, you know, you, you just get kind of tired of competing against the same guys every day. So that, that honestly is the, so f to date has been the biggest difference from what I was doing before to what I'm doing now. Hey, we got time for a couple of more questions. Let's go over here to the right. Uh, Kevin, back to the uh, NIL conversation. How important was it for you before you took this job to know that there would be support in the NIL space? To know that there would be what? Support uh, mm -hmm. in the NIL space. Yeah, massively important. You know, I think... You know, when, when BYU de decided to make the move to the Big 12, in my mind, you know, that was that was them just saying that they wanted to compete with the best. And so, you know, just trying to get a better understanding of, of what that looked like on the NIL space and just want, wanting to be able to compete with the, you know, the best programs in the country in that area. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of BYU has an unbelievable fan base, an unbelievable amount of support. Uh, and so being able to see what that, translated to on a, from the NIL space has been uh, you know something I try to do my homework on uh, quite a bit before taking the job. Okay, we can take one more question. Anybody want it? All right, Coach, I think we're good. Appreciate you.